What's going on everybody? This is Psyche and today I want to bring you guys, you know, a little different, just a replay um, of the sorts that happened today in rank. So I'm ranking with my rank partner, um, Zongbala. She's the coordinator or he's the coordinator, I should say. And we're going to be starting this match off against the Wuchang now. We're 10 seconds in. I haven't even started decoding it. And the perfumer gets hit. She doesn't perfume back. This is already a little worrisome. And she goes down just like that. So I haven't even touched a cypher yet. And um, one of our teammates goes down now. We've come back from worse, right? Right? I mean, we could still possibly get a tie. It's very unlikely against Wuchang. And then it turns out she got put in a chair in basement. So now what the heck are we going to do? I got, I have like 10% decode done, maybe 20 combined at least. And we're going to have Gravekeeper go for the rescue. Now I'm not even going to bother. I'm across the map. Gravekeeper is going to go in. He's going to go in with his shovel. I'm going to sneak right through the hunter. And he's going to rescue Perfumer. Now as if things weren't bad enough... The Gravekeeper makes it out without getting hit, but the Perfumer stays inside the basement. Now, <laughs> I have no idea what she was doing here, but I mean, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter really that much because she was going to get hit anyway. The only thing now is nobody will be able to rescue her now. It's not going to be a good idea to rescue her because she's stuck in the basement. As you can see, there she goes down right there back on the cold dungeon floor now. I'm definitely not going to rescue. My partner here isn't going to rescue either. We're going to have to let her die because she put herself in that basement. Or he. I don't know who, who it is. Now, I'm going to keep decoding these ciphers. We're still at four ciphers. We barely got into this match. We're already going to be down one person. Yeah, at this point, I'm accepting the loss. Now, right here, I actually see that um, the Wuching is toppering on my robot. I try to save it. I try to save myself first so I don't get teleported on, but he was in white form. I could have dropped the power, but I'm pretty sure I would have gone to hit through it. And now he's coming for me, so I have to make a choice. Am I going to use this roller coaster? He's actually going to go around the other side, so I'm not going to use the roller coaster yet. I'm going to buy some time with these pallets, and then I'm going to use these pallets. Now, and then I'm going to use the roller coaster. Now, unfortunately, Coordinator was decoding my cipher, and now she had to leave. So we're down even more deco time. Juking out this Wuchang, getting close to the pallet to bait out an attack. Um, right here, I thought he would go over, but he missed anyway. So thankfully, this Wuchang's making a lot of mistakes. Probably really cocky from killing that perfumer so early. He bells me right here. I accept that I'm going to get hit. And I take advantage of this time to go to the roller coaster. Now... I'm trying to bait him to come closer, and I see he's teleporting, but he's also getting closer, so right here, I'm dead, there's no way I'm escaping, but what's this? The stop sign is activated, yes, yeah, so I keep going forward, my teammate actually hit the stop sign, so I survive, and right here, you guys can't hear it, but he teleports to another person's cypher, gravekeepers, I believe, um, I'm, I'm trying to stay alive right here, not trying to get found, since I'm damaged mechanic on circus in a really dangerous spot. I hear the cypher actually um, making noise, so I put my bot on it so we could finish it, and I'm heading back towards my cypher. So, we're at three ciphers. I managed to get away. There, there's no way I'm doing a four cypher kite, so my only option was to get away. And um, I'm just still going to my cypher, and then my teammate finishes it. So we're down two ciphers. It's not so bad yet, but we still need one full cypher and a half right here. So, so Gravekeeper actually says his cypher is almost done. So I'm going to follow him, but I'm not going to follow him all the way. Going to keep checking on my robot, and Wu Cheng knocks him down. He's probably going to chair him right next to that prime cypher. And I see the Wu Cheng coming for my robot, so I'm immediately leaving. This is my last hope. Our team's last hope of priming ciphers with this robot. And I see he's coming straight for me. So I gotta get off my robot. I gotta throw the pal right on this Wu Cheng. Yeah, the camera, I was looking more directly at the Wu Cheng, but camera follow sucks. Thanks, spectate. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't recording this live, but I'm gonna vault this. I guess it was a mistake since he bro broke the pallet, but there's not much I could do. But then he misses, and I'm gonna hide behind this object so he can't hit me again right there. He has a very narrow attack, so if you hide behind an object, you'll survive. But right there, he jukes me, he move, makes me move on the side, and he gets a hit on me. Yeah, so I'm on the chair. 
Gravekeeper's hurt. He might die if he gets teleported on and Coordinator has to rescue me. I'm gonna try to work on my Cypher again, but now I'm really staying wary of this Wuching. I do not want to teleport on my robot. I see him teleporting. He's going very aggressively on my robot. Avoid the bell. Drop this pallet right away so that the bell doesn't have an effect on me. And then I'm about to kite him and then I get saved. So there goes my robot. And I have to play it safe. I can't decode much. I mean, with accelerated decode, I actually decode still 15% faster than a normal person. But I need to keep myself safe right now. I'm going to this really good... This is the best area, honestly. Not including roller coaster. But if we were in talking about actual kiting, this is the best place in Circus. And I feel... I had a feeling that he wasn't coming for me anymore. In fact, I'm pretty sure he's after Gravekeeper right here. So I'm taking the long walk back to my server he just hit coordinator my partner right there um if you guys are wondering where uh, hokage is she's out for now but she'll be back soon zong bala will be my temporary partner for now but he's doing a good job kind he did a good rescue i can't remember if he has his gun yet the screen hasn't shaken yet so i don't think he has used it and we're down to one cypher just like this game's not over yet Problem is, now we're all damaged, and someone's going on the rocket ship, so someone has to rescue. My partner actually wants healing. I do not go for the heal. In fact, I had a feeling he's going to go for our Cypher, because he's been aggressive this whole match. So, watch what I do. This might seem really pointless, because this is really slow, this roller coaster, but you guys are see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to move this roller coaster away from third stop to the fourth stop, because it's really not useful unless we move it. And... I'm gonna save this gravekeeper now. This gravekeeper can use this roller coaster, but watch what I'm gonna do here. I'm not gonna go help him just yet. I'm gonna click the stop button. Now he gets teleported on. He doesn't use the roller coaster because the Wuching actually comes for me. So before I do anything, I'm gonna click the stop button like I wanted to. And right here, I'm basically screwed. Like mechanic trying to vault windows. I even do a slow vault, so there's nothing I can do. So he does get me on chair once again but cypher's primed my partner just primed cypher and now it's up to gravekeeper to rescue me now i'm saying help me i need help getting off this chair and he's still decoding his cypher so coordinator once again says cypher primed he finally gets off Wu Ching is going not too aggressive he sends a warning teleport just to get her off the cypher because he knows he has to camp me and by some miracle this gravekeeper dodges the bell dodges the attack and rescues me before even anyone getting hit now right here i'm running for my life rushing towards this roller coaster this is our last chance right here and someone's gonna die because both of us get belled right here i try to juke him gravekeeper actually takes the hit that's actually a good thing because if i took the hit then he would have been stuck in the roller coaster and our Wuching would have recovered his attack and both of us would have gone down so right here i'm taking a nice sweet ride it's looking game over boys we had someone go down 10 seconds flat in the game and we might be leaving with a tie so i'm getting off this roller coaster we don't know what trait this wuching has um he might have teleport he might have blink he hasn't used any peepers he hasn't switched trays so i'm just rushing through the door and he did have teleport so we just barely made it through he actually teleported on the um on the third station didn't expect me to keep going forward so yeah that was an epic comeback from like from a 10 second kite to a draw i will we will gladly take that pretty nice kites overall from the rest of our team staying alive overall that was a pretty sick match really good job to my rank burner and um the gravekeeper anyway that'll be it see you guys